This is a CBS 4 News special report. Parkland, one year later. Today, we pause to reflect and remember the 17 victims lost at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School one year ago today. It was supposed to be a day of love, but it turned to tragedy. In the years since, the families of the victims, along with the hundreds of student survivors, have turned their grief into action. And these are live pictures of Stoneman Douglas High School. Many events and several moments of silence are planned today across South Florida, the state, and even the rest of the country. People are treating this as a day of honor and service and love to the victims as we now remember them one by one. Alyssa Aladef, Scott Beagle, Martin Duque, Nicholas Dorret, Aaron Feiss, Jamie Guttenberg, Chris Hickson, Luke Hoyer, Carol Lofren, Gina Montalto, Joaquin Oliver, Elena Petty, Meadow Pollock, Helena Ramsey, Alex Schachter, Carmen Shentrup, Peter Wang. Once again, live pictures from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas right now where they were just flashing on that screen. Be positive, be kind, MSD strong. Uh, so much scheduled once again for today. There is a moment of silence scheduled at 10.17 a.m. in just about three minutes. We, too, will pause on air to observe the moment. Now, a lot has happened in the year since the shooting. Students found themselves as accidental activists. Hundreds lobbied for change in Tallahassee, and thousands of them marched on Washington demanding gun control reform. As a result of their efforts, thousands of young people registered to vote, and some changes have already been made. A commission was formed to investigate the shooting and make recommendations for school safety, not just in Parkland, but across the district and the state. The law enforcement response to the shooting has been heavily scrutinized, and the sheriff at the time, Scott Israel, has since been removed from office. Many have also called for a shakeup at the school board after a year of investigating and reporting uncovered missteps that some think could have changed the outcome for at least some of the victims that day. Governor Ron DeSantis was in Fort Lauderdale just yesterday. He asked the state Supreme Court to convene a grand jury to investigate how school districts address school safety. He also called for a statewide audit of diversion programs like the Promise program, which the Parkland shooter was once part of. As for possibly removing Superintendent Robert Runcie or suspending some school board members, the governor said he will not do that. And the live pictures, once again, you're seeing from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. We also have pictures from schools all across South Florida. MSD here, where this morning they hosted a breakfast for the first responders. And school superintendent Robert Runcie spoke a short time ago. He did mention that attendance was quite low today. They did give students the option of whether to come in for this shortened day. They could stay at home with loved ones, or they can go out and do service projects as well. There will be an early release there. And at 2.21 p.m., the city of Parkland will pause again to mark the exact moment the shooting began last year. Live now to Pine Trails Park, where there will be an interfaith memorial service today at 5.45 p.m. That park has been the site of so much grieving and healing over the past year. Chopper 4 now live over Miami Lakes Middle School where students, counselors, and teachers at one point formed a peace sign. Right now, they're in a very large circle. There are many people gathered. They will display artwork and a banner that reads, kindness and love is the answer. And now to Coral Springs and the Temple of Time. It's a wooden structure that was built with the help of students, teachers, and community members. The temple is open to the public from dawn to dusk through spring. It's a place that anyone can go for healing and reflection. And it's just about 10:17 now. We, like many others across South Florida, would like to pause now to observe a moment of silence for those killed on February 14th, 2018.
a very difficult time, a lot of grieving still, people coming together to show their support, their love for the 17 victims that lost their lives. And you've been looking at live pictures from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and schools across South Florida as students pause for a moment of silence to reflect and remember the victims of the Parkland school shooting. Another moment of silence is planned for today, later this afternoon. It'll happen at the exact moment the confessed shooter began his attack. And then again tonight at 545, there will be an interfaith memorial service planned at Pine Trails Park. And we'll have much more on Parkland one year later today on CBS 4 News at noon. Our website, cbsmiami.com, and again on CBS 4 News at 5.